Here, I'll demonstrate the Google Finance function in Google Sheets. First, head to the Google Docs editor help site. And here we're in Google Finance and our syntax is right here, which is finance, ticker, attribute, start date, end date, interval. And once again, we need our attribute, start date, end date, interval. And we'll make this 24 and Roboto. Today we'll do Apple, AEPL. And for all of our attributes, we can pull those from the website here and I'll paste them in. Okay, first we'll start with our dates. Here we'll go equals today minus 30. We'll say 30 days back. For our end date, we'll say today equals today. And for our interval daily. Okay, for our price, we'll go equals Google Finance ticker is A2 and our attribute is A3. Close parentheses, hit OK. And before we clone this down, we'll select A2, A4 on our keyboard and that will lock this cell in and then we can bring it down. Okay, that's all our data for Apple and we can center this. Okay, next we'll go equals Google Finance and here, because we're going to pull the historical data, we're going to use the full syntax. So we have ticker, and then we need an attribute. In this case, we'll do price, start date, 30 days ago, the end date, today, and the interval, daily. Close parentheses, hit OK. And that gives us the historical price for the past 30 days. Okay, last we can add format, alternating colors. We can view, show, grid lines off. And we can test this for another company, pull Amazon, Meta. All right, and that's all I have for Google Finance in Google Sheets. Thanks. Take care. Bye.